welcome to Sand City Sports. I am your host, the Cape Cod Kid, artist formerly known as Andre King. And we are back again to bring you all the sports and current events news stories that you need to know. Folks, Super Bowl Sunday is over. Less than 24 hours removed. And we are here on Super Duper Monday morning quarterback. Whatever. I don't know. You know, that didn't. You know, I, I, point of fact is, if there is a day uh, that, that highlights what people uh, like myself, you know, who like to go on and on and on, you know, and, and seem uh, sophisticated at times and act as if they know uh, this, that, and the other, today's the day. Uh, the biggest Monday morning quarterback day of the year has to be, and certainly is, the day after the Super Bowl. So I'm excited. I have a lot of ideas and theories and analogies and metaphors and so on and forth uh, that I think uh, could have been utilized uh, yesterday. Uh, but again, uh, as we know, uh, the credit belongs. Uh, the majority of which, almost exclusively, to the man in the arena. Uh, and, and those... Uh, like myself, you know, who are commentators and uh, analysts, so on and forth. Uh, no. Uh, it's important, and, and we love to do this, uh, but win, lose, or draw, you know, it's those folks, you know, that are down there uh, in the field of combat or in the field of competition, uh, you know, who deserve, you know, the, uh, the honor, so on and forth. And so that, always have to make that clear. Uh, but, I, but I do have some thoughts and, you know, comment and, you know, get involved, so on and forth in terms of what you think. Uh, and, folks, I do have to tell you, uh, we are excited. Uh, we're going to be doing this segment uh, at Eastern 172, so we're going to get their uh, feelings, analysis, thoughts on the two ball and all the world sports. Uh, so, uh, tune in for that. What's going on, folks? San City Sports. We're live at Pizza One Subs 2 tonight. We are live at Pizza One Subs 2. We're walking in. We are in the building. Folks, just a quick, you know, we out here in the mills. We out here in the mills. We're thankful for the Pizza One Subs 2 people having us. And we are walking in right now to get it cracked. Okay, folks, we are in the building. We are in the house. Pizza One Subs 2, folks, this is the genesis of the show. This, this is where it started, and we're going to get there. We got Drew Pops and Zach. What's going on, folks? All right. Had a long day at the office. Your boy, the Cape Cod Kid, I'm here with them. We're here. All right. The phones are ringing. The phones are ringing. The phone. We're working. We're talking sports, folks. Listen, it, it goes without saying, all right? Anybody, everybody, Cape Cod, Barnstable, whatever the case may be, get down to Pizza One and Subs 2. See the good people here, okay? Great establishment, all right? But as far as San City Sports is concerned, as far as the sports show is concerned, it wouldn't be possible. Drew, is, it, is that the case? It wouldn't be possible. It wouldn't be possible without the conversations. This is where I got to where it started. started. This is where it started. Okay, so we're happy to be here. They're working, okay, but at the same time, a lot going on, Super Bowl coverage. Uh, so we're going to get into sports as they do what they need to do. Okay, Drew, Zach, Super Bowl, what are your thoughts? Let, let, let the people know, what are your thoughts on the Super Bowl? Are you happy with Andy Reid getting the title? Did Kyle Shanahan blow it? Let it rip, okay? Thoughts on the Super Bowl. Here we go. I'll let you go first. <laughs> Uh, I think the better team won. I think the Chiefs were just a very explosive uh, offense. I think their defense doesn't get enough credit. I feel like they're pretty, pretty good. Like, I mean, San Fran balled out all season. Uh, yeah, I think the better team won, honestly. Drew, Zach says the better team won. The better team was down 10 points with 7 minutes to go. Okay? Do you feel the better team actually won or the more composed team won? What, what do you think? I think they were almost as even as it could get. One was, you know, explosive as all hell on offense. Paper-wise, if you look at both of them, I mean, it could have gone either way. It was up in the air. I would say that 49ers were maybe more well-rounded, but with that offense, Pat Mahomes, you could never count them out. And that's what happened. They were down the whole game. San Francisco prepared, you know, pretty well, clearly. Not well enough. And that brute force of that offense just 
They made it happen. They did when they had to do it. They're down, what? 20 to 10, seven minutes to go. 10, 10 points. They 10 points. Like touchdown, then their defense stops up, three and out, ball right back in Pat Mullen's hands, they go down and score again. Like, it, they've been doing that all season. That's, they're lethal. They're they play from behind in every single playoff game. By all, I think by double, double digits. digits in every playoff game. And they did it again in the Super Bowl. You couldn't count them out. We didn't count them out. I live betted them when they were down 10. And keep it going, keep it going. We just we just letting the people know what's going on. Keep it going. So we didn't kind of we got sports going on, people. We got the wall of fame over we here. We got history. We got history over there. 33 right. years in business. 33 years in business. Get okay. We, 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 we coming back to the Super Bowl. We coming. Just giving you just giving you a brief taste. A brief taste of what goes on here. Holding down the community. I've been living in Centerville my whole life. These people have been holding me down for decades, folks. That's why we're glad to be in the building. We're glad to, we have a little bit more in the Super Bowl. We have a little bit more in the Super Bowl because you're talking more about the Chiefs being deadly, you know, versus the 49ers being incompetent. Uh, we have we have to go for me, Drew. There's five minutes to go. The Chiefs just scored. The 49ers have the ball. The first play from scrimmage was a 13-yard run. You know what I'm talking about, Drew. We have five minutes to go. The next three plays, I think it's one rush and two passes. It's a three and out. They give the ball back to Kansas City. What do they do? They charge down the field and score. Okay, take the lead. Okay, Jimmy G gets the... That is the crucial possession in the game. That, that to me, is where it swung. What are your thoughts on Kyle Shanahan's play calling? Folks, are, are, are we in New England? Yeah. Uh, are we on the case? We've seen it once before. We were, We've uh, seen uh, this play uh, call and come back to Biden once before. So we're in title town. 28-3. We, we, we've seen 28-3 come back. All right. That possession, gentlemen, I need your thoughts. You, you're a run-dominant team. You ran it on first down. You got 13 big yards. There's five minutes. You have the ball. Okay? You can grind down the clock with this series, score a touchdown, and win the Super Bowl. Instead, and we'll get this on the screen for the people, I believe it was one rush on first down, then two passes with Jimmy G out. What are your thoughts? It's easy to say that now. They did what they thought was the best thing to do. It didn't work out. Maybe if one of those passes was caught, we wouldn't be having this conversation. That's not the way it was. They're going to have to live with it. And, I mean, that's it. That's how the game went. Okay. That's it. Not a big a deal, Zach. What you know? It's not as big a deal to Drew. How how about yourself? Is it a big deal? Is this a big deal? Obviously, the Cape Cod game. It's a big deal to me. Okay, but we're at Pizza One. This is your time. Okay. If we're gonna be honest. The game flew past me. I was most most, most focused on my squares. He's focused on squares. So, I'm sorry. Okay, okay. okay. So, who's making money? He was focused I, on making money. I didn't make anything. But okay, but he was focused on that. So that yeah, that didn't yeah. necessarily. We're in the palm of our hands. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, because uh, for folks, come on in, come on in. We're not interrupting. You're not interrupting. The, 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 the people are doing business here. Business is first. Business, business is first. We have people that are doing business. Folks, we are live at Pizza One. They, they, they're doing the business, and we just move it over to the side. We just move it over to the side. Drew, as you're, as you're uh, okay, we talked about the squares, Drew, um, and that's that's what Zach was doing. He's making his money. He's, he's, he's being humble right now, but he was really making money. I, I mean, not he's, he's, he's being humble, we're but he's trying. making money. We're trying. Where I'm going with this is, Drew, okay, uh, there was another major commercial that went down. There was a major commercial that happened in the first half that, that we have to also touch on, all right, that was a, a, a big part of the storyline in the game. What are your thoughts on Tom, on Tom Brady's commercial and how that impacts, because he's coming back. Is that what he said, Drew? He's pretty crazy of him all to come back. Oh, so he's, 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 he's coming back, okay? And interest of full disclosure, we got Pat in the back. What's going on, Pat? What's up? Pat's in the back holding it down, okay? He's in the back. Okay. Folks. I'm here loitering. This is what I do. I'm in the building semi-loitering. They're allowing us to film. These people are working hard, okay? Putting the work in Stop. during the winter Stop. months, okay? And they're kind enough to let us be in the building, nice okay? Day. So we got Pat in the back. We got Drew, okay? We, we, we got Zach. Eric is doing his thing. They are letting San City. This is a big deal for San City, all right? Hey. The big deal. With, thank you, Pat. For, Drew, Drew, your thoughts on Tom Brady's commercial, Okay. How the narrative swung because we were very concerned here in New England. I think we, we were concerned with the picture. We were concerned with the picture and him in the tunnel. Okay, and then that was a, a nice little gotcha. Okay, Tom Brady is he coming back to the Patriots? Are they going to give him thirty million? How does that whole narrative kind of factor in the I Patriots? Are, the Patriots are in the AFC drill with this whole Chiefs. Coronation and possible new I dynasty. I'm scared of the Chiefs. I'm not as good as the Chiefs are. I'm not scared of them. That game People are talking about Patrick Mahomes being the GOAT 
They're saying this could be. Well, he's gotta get six. He's okay. Gotta get five. Just let me know. I, I, need, I need to know. Five more. He's gotta get six more to be the best, or he could tie the best. Okay. Five. Um, he's gotta get six more. I'm not. I'm not gonna get six more. Yeah. Five. 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 Okay. An injury because he's you know the old quarterback. You're sure. banged up this year. It's not about that. It's about the Patriot way. We got another shot at it. Maybe two. You bring Tom back. Mm -hmm. You supply him with some weapons, which mm -hmm. they easily could do. Indeed. And that's all. This. That's it. Until then, maybe you draft a quarterback and you groom him for two years. Under Brady. You let him. Just like Jimmy G. Indeed. All you need is uh, is two years under him. I don't know. Stidham can do that. I don't know if he's the, he's the man. But guess what? They have a plethora of draft picks. They Go do. out and try another one. Or if you think Stidham's the boy, keep on grooming him. I don't know. But regardless, Stidham's time isn't now either way. It's Tom's time. He's going to come back. We're going to have another shot at it. And I saw them open up at 12 to 1 odds. Mm. And they've gone down to 8 to 1. Okay. So people are buying in on the path. Be even money by the start of the season. Be even money by the start of the season. Zach and Drew, I got to ask you if that's the Patriots playing the Chiefs and they're up 20 to 10 in the AFC championship game and no. Tom Brady's under center no. the Patriots lose that game. No, absolutely not. Okay, so what they're saying is they're, they're nice people. They don't want to bury Kyle Shanahan like some other people, myself included, want to do. They're, they're being nice. What they're saying, if it was a well-coached team up 20 to 10, Patrick Mahomes, those two interceptions, and that team happened to have Patriots on their logo, you're saying they're going home. Kyle ain't no Bill. He just ain't. He's, he's, a, good, he's a good coach, but he doesn't he did what he had to do. He's going to do exactly what he has to do to kill the game out. That's just not a Bill Belichick. Pat, any thoughts on that? Any thoughts on that, Pat? You know, if the Patriots are up 20 to 10 with seven minutes to go, do they get the W or, or do the Chiefs come back? They can't blow that. Not the Pat. Up 10, not, you, Bill doesn't blow it. Okay. Well, Indeed, uh, you know that, 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 that's how I feel, and I feel like uh, you know. So, so, so I'm, I'm certainly, I'm certainly in agreement. Now, uh, again, back to the page. So, so you're saying, and this is how I feel, that this Chiefs, because people are crowning the Chiefs. They're, all of a sudden, they're the new wave right now. That, that, that's what people are saying. You know, the, all this explosiveness. Football. Uh, any given. They weren't the new Sunday. wave when they got worked in the AFC Championship last year. Oh yeah, they're, 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 they're supposed speak. to be the new wave. They're people need to. They're supposed to be the new wave last year and. We were dogs going in there. We were dogs against the Chargers. That's last year. It's over with. But I mean, any given Sunday, look what look what the Titans did to Baltimore. Did anyone think they were going to do that to the Pats in Baltimore? I don't think it so. It us. But I mean, any given Sunday, anyone can win. I'm, I'm not more worried about Kansas City than Baltimore down the road. Honestly, if Baltimore is good as they were and as good as Lamar is. Mm, whatever, mm. I don't believe that in the playoffs. The you style. All that silly nonsense. If you can't, they can't throw the ball. I'm sorry. They, he he, he, he a gifted year, a gifted year. But if you can't really dish the rock down the field, and he showed against Tennessee that that's not their game. You can solve the run enough mm. to limit a team like. Are that. you comparing them? Are them. you comparing the Ravens to the Houston Rockets, Drew? Is that what you're doing? Are I'm you saying? Are you saying they're all? Also, are you I saying they're all ready by the Rockets at all? I think the Rockets stink as well. Yeah. Unrelated. So you so so you go because you know James Harden has been up for two of the last three. Uh, you know he's been in the running for the last three MVPs. He's won one. So people say he should have won two. So Lamar Jackson wins the MVP. You know during the regular season, but they don't get out of they don't get out of the first round basically after the bye. So you're saying the Ravens are kind of like the Rockets. Is that what you're saying, Drew? Or? I'm not saying that. But oh, that's not what you're saying. You're saying it, but I don't disagree with okay, you. Okay, so you don't disagree, but you're not saying that. Because regular season, it don't mean shit. Well, it's kind of true, and they they, they they did kind of get manhandled. Because the Rockets are the same thing. The Rockets, that's a great comparison for you, because the Rockets are the Ravens of the NBA. Yeah, they, they do all this. In the regular season. Yeah, just mark my words right now. The Rockets will not be in the Western Conference Finals. They might not even sniff the round before that. Well, so you so said they might not even make the divisional game. round. No. All these guarding because you know Harden's averaging like 35 plus, and they're that putting up their, nothing. they're putting up big numbers. Around, but just say you, around him, him and Westbrook do not coalesce. So in money time, in, in money time, they fugazi. That's what you're saying. They're not. Real. I gotta call. I gotta call. I gotta talk to Donnie Brasco. They fugazi. I, I took the Hornets spread in everything today. Hmm. In everything, because the Rockets are given 14. They're 14 point spread. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. So it's a stink. And so, back, and, and so back to football, and, 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 and in terms of the Ravens, in terms of this hierarchy, what you're saying is that Tom Brady comes back. Because also, and, and guys, uh, Pat's the, Chiefs, Ravens, that's how it goes. Pat, okay, so the, Raven, the Ravens are the three. In, in, in Super Bowl. Okay, I'm just wondering. In Super Bowl standings. You know, not regular season. No, no, the regular season, season that, 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 yeah, that's for sure. You know? Who has the best shot to get it done? I think the, I think the Chiefs have to be top dog going into next year. I think we're going to... 
It'll be. A, I think it's gonna be Pat's Chiefs in the AFC Championship. Okay. That's right. And it, it all depends on you know home field. If you're coming to Gillette, that's a tough fight. Mm -hmm. But we've proven that we can go to Arrowhead and win. Proven that. And the Patriots uh, did give him a. That, that was a. That was a good game in you Gillette. Got hosed, you know. You got hosed, there, was, there was some. There was some officiating this year. You know. Yeah. And of course, the Tom Brady allegedly and and, and probably in, in fact didn't have very many weapons. You know, but even and, so, at the start he did, they all just fizzled out. You know, and the Patriots win that game against uh, the Chiefs, or they win that game against Miami to get that first round by. Uh, you know, who who would you say? Pat, you have any thoughts on this? Like, Pat, any any thoughts of what's what's your ranking next ne next year in terms of uh, the the AFC? Is is it you know are the Ravens three or, or are the Ravens you know higher than that in your mind? I mean, as far as the regular season goes, we're not going to win thirteen games in my eyes. Okay. Uh, but playoffs. Different story. Different story, and that's when, that's when the Patriots yeah, shine. That's when the Patriots shine. So not not concerned. Okay. In conclusion, we're gonna get back to the Super Bowl. Then we gotta bounce because we we, we we do have a super fans in the building, folks. You've seen on this show how 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 Pizza One Substitute gets down in in Boston at the TD Garden tomorrow. There's been yeah. and, okay, so there's been numerous. So we got, we need to do some Celtics coverage, um, but. Can the Patriots pay Tom Brady? This is in conclusion. Just a minute, you know, we gotta go to some basketball. Can they get Tom Brady 30, 30 million and and still put pieces around? And that's yes. been the reporting. That Tom's gonna get 30 million. Will they still be able to put the team around him so they can get back to the big the big dance? What have they done in the past? They take a no-name guy out of out of Miami, Wes Welker, make him Arguably a Hall of Famer, maybe not. But uh, yeah. Arguably, people talking about Julian Edelman being a Julian Hall of Famer. Julian Edelman, uh, Julius they Hall. take they take players that were Rex Burkhead, Division out of two Cincinnati. Okay, take him out of Cincinnati and turn him into indeed. not a, not an All Star, but like a, a huge player for them. Indeed, indeed, they will go out and do some things and like that. Continue, AJ folks. I'm gonna continue. Yes, yeah, yeah. We, we, we just gave him, but we have pizza one. Yeah, we have pizza they, one. Okay, this, this is the View 28. We at Pizza One. We just showing you everything that's going on. Great Most establishment. Property. Great Most establishment property. here. Okay, been holding Best the Cape Cod kid down. Best steak Homemade and cheese. Soup, All of it. We at Pizza One. We talking sports. Okay, and we're happy to be in the building. We back to center. So you're thinking, and Bill, we trust is basically what you're saying. You're saying that Bill, Bill builds champions. We can't win every year, but were we on the cusp? Were we in the mix? Were we on the cusp? Yes. Will we be there next year on the cusp in the mix? Absolutely. It doesn't, nothing changes. If Tom's behind center. Which it looks like he's going to be there. They're gonna, they're gonna, Bill's going to be calling the plays. Bill's calling the plays. And he's signing the boys and drafting the boys. Everyone's I rest my case. I rest my case at that. So they're going to restock the cupboard. Okay. They'll do whatever they have to do like they always do. Like they always do. And if it's minimal, if there's minimal money, then they'll go out and they'll work with it that way like they always do. Shout out to Eric. Eric, how you, how you doing? Shout out. You know, he's holding it down. We want to recognize yeah. him. We want to recognize everybody. We're thankful to be here. These are the guys, you know. No one ever you know? forgets. He doesn't say it as much, but we're happy to you want to recognize Eric as well. Pat, everyone. So the Patriots, what we have from Pizza One Subs 2, the Chiefs, we're going to give it to them because they won the Super Bowl, but the Patriots are right there, okay? And then it's basically everybody else, Baltimore, Tennessee, the best of the rest. Okay? Uh, I, I got. I, I have to. I have to agree with them. I have to agree. Dan, with them. Dan, you doing, the sir? Man. Dan, the man. He's in the man. We're live, folks. Oh, yeah. We're live at Pizza One. Okay, yeah. we're filming. Dan They're the doing man. business. Okay, we got sports well, people. Pizza we got sports right. people. If we need to do any hockey Bruins talk, he, the, the man, he's going to give us man. right. He's going to give us the understanding. Hockey, baby. Bruins are going back to the Stanley Cup as far as he's concerned. As far as I'm concerned. As far as we're all oh, concerned. No doubt. They're getting it done. Yeah. Drew, we touched on it. I'm going to let you take it away. Uh, trade deadline's coming up. We have a Celtic super fan here. Uh, lives it, doesn't talk it. Cape Cod Kid does a lot of talking. Okay, Drew does a lot of walking. Okay, that's why we're here at Pizza One. Okay. Do they need to make a deal at the deadline? And, because we have people favoring them now to go to the Eastern Conference Finals. What uh, Serious reports. Jason McIntyre is what he's been saying. I believe it. Okay. I always believe it. How do you feel the Celtics, this new, this redeemed team, if you will, how do you feel going into the second half of this year versus what happened last year? I feel great about it. I don't think that they have to make a move, but what I've been seeing in this Clint Capella talk is we could get Clint Capella. You got to give up Tice. You got to give up Romeo Langford. And you gotta give up maybe Poirier and no. maybe two nights. a first round pick. So you're saying the Celtics yeah. can get Clint Capella without giving up any of the big four. You're saying it's possible. That's what I'm reading. 
And if that is true, then they should do that 1,000 times out of 100. So I, I just need to make sure, because what I heard, you know, this is Drew, you're breaking news right now, as usual. Well, I've been hearing. No, no, and I, some, of, some of the other deals, like the, the deals that they're talking about, that him possibly going to... Atlanta or him being a three-team trade the piece that they're talking about are Robert Covington If that's all it gets Robert Covington and a couple picks to get Clint Capella the Celtics could easily match and exceed that That's what I'm saying. I can't believe how cheap they're showing me for And if the Celtics would, would you, you tell me they're keeping Kemba all-star Oh, yeah You tell me getting room even you tell me the team you the block was Hayward not even Hayward Okay, so, so they keep they keeping Tatum too all-star no. They're keeping Jalen Brown, borderline all star. Okay. With that contract, he's not going okay. And we're going to maintain the glue guy, okay, who's back healthy, who's been balling. I mean, Mr. Gordon Hayward, who's proven people but, wrong. So even Marcus Smart is not. It's not. It's, it's, chance. It's not. I would never do it for any of those boys. But if you're telling me that you could give out Langford, who's nothing, he could be something down the road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm talking about now. We yeah, no, don't no, need no, him. No, no, don't need him. A, a first round pick. A first, we don't need. Don't need. We're young enough. And. A Poirier or, or I would make that trade a billion times. And if that's all it takes, then they'd be foolish. Thank you for coming in. Thank you for coming in. Yes, appreciate it. So the Celtics can get Clint Capella and not give up any core pieces. Drew. I, I, I gotta ask. Um, you have to give with, up Tice, too. Uh, it, it, you have to give up Tice. You know, but you still have Robert Williams. I would, I would you know? absolutely do it without And you can, you, 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 with Tice. Okay. Cool. There's a couple big men that play in the Mashby League that can come in and get a couple rebounds as well. Okay, there's a couple, you know, so that you, you, you can find big men. That's what I'm saying, Drew. Um, or I'd go for Burton's from, from Washington. Yeah. Get them cheap, but they're, they're not shopping in that cheap, so... Drew, again, since you're breaking news, this, this is new information that, that, that that's coming out. I, I have to ask, with that starting lineup that, that, that you just mentioned of Capella, of Hayward, of Brown, Tatum, of, of Kemba Walker, oh. D- Drew, to me, that's a starting lineup that can compete not just with Milwaukee in the Eastern Conference. That's a starting lineup that can compete with the L.A. Clippers, I mean, the L.A. Lakers. Give up for that to make yourself a true contender. They're already contenders. I think if this but Celtics make a true contender, a true contender, meaning getting to the NBA Finals and challenging, if not beating. Okay, the two teams in LA. Why wouldn't you? Okay, the one team in Denver. Okay, the other team in Houston. Okay, the other team maybe in Portland. The West is, you know, it's obviously very, you know, the top to bottom. Any of these teams could break through. But if the Celtics get Clint Capella, and all I have to give up is young pieces and draft picks. All right, and then keep this team. By the way, Drew uh, and Zach, because they were in the building last year as well as this year. Um, what's your feeling uh, about the one year versus the the, the other, uh, top to bottom? Uh, don't feel, don't, 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 don't okay, don't you, no, you know, in terms of the team, the culture, the all right, everything, you know, the, the top to bottom in terms of, are, are they winning, all right, do you feel good being in the stadium, is the energy in the stadium positive, uh, is the team competitive, and, you know, one year versus the next, how do you feel? Uh, I felt like last year watching the Celtics was watching my dog, that was terrible, it was not fun, they weren't in it, and it was just like, it wasn't worth going to. Like, I'd go to the games and they'd be up big and blowing huge leads, and it seems like this year, they're a lot, they're having fun, everyone seems like they're in on it as a team. It's a team. You got, you got Kemba, he's not even playing, uh, what was it, the other night, and he's on the bench, like, like running out on the court, getting all fired up and fired up for his team, and like, I don't know, like, I... I didn't know what to expect with, with the season uh, with Kyrie leaving and Al Horford. I'd rather have Al Horford back than Kyrie in a million percent. But they were doing well without uh, Horford. And uh, I don't know. I just, just this year is a lot more fun, a lot more positivity on the team. I think they're balling. Uh, we're seeing the the resurgence of uh, Jason Tatum mm. in the season. I mean, it's just. I heard he's an all star. He is. He's an all star. Boy, I ain't even. Even 22 years. Yeah, 22. Uh, Eric, adios. Thanks for appreciation. Oh, Bill's we legend. Talk NASCAR. Yeah, we're coming back. Oh, All right. God, when, the, when, the, when the sun starts to shine, when we get in the springtime, there, there won't be a NASCAR episode. San yeah, City Sports will be glad, glad to come back. Come on, go on. Champions, yep. man. Folks, okay. We, we do this, this. This is San City Sports, okay? All the sports. NASCAR. All, the sports. all right. Some people like myself, not not necessarily good, can't drive a stick shit, but I gotta learn. I gotta learn. So we'll, we'll, there will be a NASCAR segment, okay? All three That's of going us down. That is certainly right going right. down. NASCAR elite. Okay, in the I don't future. Care what it is. If it's sports. We're, we're, we're covering it. We're, we're talking about it. Golf, tennis, okay, the whole nine. Cr- cricket, if you know, I, we'll, we'll learn about some of these international games. Okay, so Drew, again, uh, appreciate that. 
Uh, we're glad that, that Zach's dog is healthy. Is he, he's not, you know, but the dog, the dog's healthy. The dog is healthy, but the way he was feeling last year, it was okay, just like watching a family member die. Okay, it, 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 brutal. Okay, brutal. emotionally. All right, and many Celtics fans um, and sports fans feel the same way. Drew, your thoughts? Um, I feel the same way. It's a different. Uh, it's just a whole different vibe. You watch them and. They're on the sideline. Pat's heading out. Thank you, Pat. We'll see you. Let's go, Bees. Yes, let's go. And Seeds. Bees and Seeds. Stanley Cubs, NBA champion. That's what we do in Title Town, folks. It's just fun, man. It seems like they're having fun. But not only that, it reminds me of, like, the Isaiah Thomas year when Mm. we clearly, like, were not the better. We weren't the better team on the court. But they they wanted it more. Yes. And they would go out and grind, and they'd go out and get it. But now I think that we have a little more talent, and it's that same thing. So... I don't. I would never count this team out, and I'm not counting them out. Before I even saw them on a court together, I put a bunch of money on them. I having season tickets. It's. I mean, you're investing in them. If you think they're gonna be bad, if I thought they're gonna be bad, I wouldn't renew the season tickets. Mm. So it's like, it's it's nice to see, and it's nice that it looked like okay, Kyrie's gone, Al Horford's gone, everyone's talking rebuild, and I'm thinking a rebuild. You have Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown. Mm. There's no rebuild. You're already going to be contenders just off of those two. And they go out and get Kemba Walker. And at, at first it was like, oh, you're giving all this money to this guy who's never played on a real team. Kemba Walker looks great. I couldn't be any more pleased with Kemba Walker. Love it. Um, it's just it's a testament to Brad Stevens and Danny Ainge and what they're able to do with limited money and limited resources and, and putting together a team that could beat any team in the NBA. And they've done it. They beat the best team in the East. We were there. When we, we beat Milwaukee. Paul Pierce was there on Paul the sidelines. You know, there. me and Paul Pierce were, you know, yeah. chumming it up. Chumming it up. I believe they were down 15 points in that yeah, game, down double digits. Back. Storm back. Be my life bet at that Okay. Game. It's it's all it's all good, man. We're a tough team, and when you have to go in the garden, good luck to you. Good luck. Uh, agree with those sentiments 100%. You know, this is the blue collar hard hat. This is what we wanted. You know, this and is the team that we wanted last year. Th- that we want. You know, and maybe a little bit less star power, uh, but not so much. You know, because uh, when you play the right way, you know, in terms of what we're seeing. Listen, guys, it's not. You know, making all, all stars that, that that means something. You know, and you got really two, and, and Jalen was close. Had three. You almost had three. He wasn't okay, miss, and, and Hayward, don't sleep on. Him. You know, as he gets healthy, as he gets strong, this is the guy that was an all-star in the West. Great start of the season. You know, and he great, still, yeah, yeah, great game last night. You know, a couple. Uh, when one minute you know, goes down, he steps up every time. You know, but um, yes, I have to agree 100. percent You know, and if if they get Capella, that we're talking, I think they can win it all. The whole thing. If they don't get Capella, still, you know, this is a team that's going to really challenge. You know, the Milwaukee's and, and Drew, we see Philly's having some trouble right now. You know, the oh, Miami, you know, the Miami Heat, you know, they're a good team. It's a good story, but they don't have the depth the Celtics have, they don't have you know. Depth. So, you know, I in, like the Heat too. you know, uh, Indiana with the Old Depot back, you know, but we'll at the same time, Drew, ever since they, you know, and they, they, they're talking about moving Miles Turner, talking about possibly move, moving Turner. So I think the Celtics with the continuity, you know, are right there at the top of the East. You know, and, and, and could make a run at the championship. Folks, as we wind it down, okay, because these guys got things to do. They've, they've been working hard. They've been putting the hours and We can't take all their time up. We're thankful for some of their time. Uh, but, Drew, you just broke. Uh, there's, there's some breaking news involving the Red Sox, you know, in, in terms of uh, a significant deal. Uh, this show will, is going to be coming out in the weekend, so you folks are going to be having been hearing about this. Uh, but this is major right now in terms of a play that could be possibly worth four hundred. Ten minutes ago. Okay, ten minutes Great ago. Million. We're talking about a guy, and you know what I'm talking about, boy. There's Mookie Betts. There's only one name in the Red Sox who could be worth four hundred million dollars. Okay, and we know now the Red Sox have made a move. Drew, can you let the people know? What I'm seeing, Mookie Betts, David Price, they're out. It's it's unforeseen what we're going to get back. Okay, but regardless. It's the move that everyone has been talking about and seeing is going to happen and, and whatnot, and everyone has their opinions about it. Until we see what we get, I guess it's a little premature to say, but regardless, we got other boys that can play. He's one of the trend-sending talents of our time. And that's great, but sometimes that's just the way that, that the cookie crumbles, you know? He, he's we got, well to, we got to see him win a World Series in L.A. We were there. We watched his last game in a Red Sox uniform. In the building, folks, they were there uh, for that contest. Were we, uh, there for, we were there for the last game of the year. So if he is gone, that we were there for his last game. 
We were there for his last championship. The last championship. So all good. You know, he, he did it. He did his thing. He, he's disgusting, but you know what? There was no other way. The, the Red Sox honestly boxed themselves into this corner. But it is what it is, and there's no going back now. And I mean, they have a great team around. You get rid of David Price's giant contract, which honestly he's not getting any younger and not mm -hmm. getting any better. It's all good. I think it's good for the Red Sox in the long run. It's one player you got a lot. Of, you're gonna get a lot of shit. For. I agree 100%, even if, you know, and baseball is obviously dealing uh, with a scandal, you know, of which, you know, Alex Cora, you know, is is, is a principal, uh, you know, component, so he's not in, in Boston right now. Uh, well, I'm not throwing shade, but, all, you know, I bring that up only to say it's time for the Red Sox to, to, to blow it up and start new. You know, you don't have the same manager, you know, and you have Mookie. So I, what I'm saying is that even if Alex, we didn't have this, you know, Mookie has not committed to Boston in any way, shape, or form. You know, and what is the alternative for the Red Sox if he plays the entire next season? You know, it's, it's, it's it seems similar. Mookie, personality-wise, is night and day from Kyrie. He seems to be more of a go along, get along, you know, kind of good. You know, whereas Kyrie, you know, is, you know, walks the beat of his, he walks to the beat of his own. Drum, you know, but at the same time, you know, in terms of their commitment financially on the dotted line, it's the same. You know, they're, they're, and if you go into free agency with no guarantee, you know, you could lose a Mookie Beck who's top. Three, five in the league, and get nothing. Yeah, might as well get something for him. You know. Yeah, I so even if the the team was intact and we didn't have, we're dealing with all these things off the field, you know, based on Mookie's posture, I think this, the Red Sox would have been right. You know, but with with what they're dealing with, don't have a manager. You know, that that team, that group that was outstanding. You know, that era ended kind of abruptly after two years. So we, I think we, um, we got our we got our ring. Yes. You know? And I see people comparing it to like Ricky Henderson when he got traded. It's like you tr you make trades so you can get a guy like Ricky Henderson, and now they're dealing him out. But it's like different circumstances happen. You know, it's this is the Red Sox. Here they are. You can't look at all this nonsense. It was it's time. It was time. They, they have no other choice. So go out. You get some little pieces. Their farm system was already depleted from. You know, Dombrowski, that's what he does. He depletes the whole farm system, and that's his thing. So we get some farm people back. It's not like Xander Bar Bogarts isn't going to crack 30 home runs. It's not like Mikey Chavis isn't coming up. It's not like Raphael Devers isn't like a top five young player. And we still got 10 years. Got, Benintendi's there. We got plenty of people, and we just got rid of a giant contract in David Price. And it's a good. I think it's a good thing, and I think... We watch this video two years from now. We're gonna be happy that this went down. I gotta agree. Concluding thoughts, guys. We're appreciative to be here. Concluding thoughts. What you want to say to the people? Let them know. All right. This is our show. It's not my. This is our. This is a group project. Okay. We wouldn't have Sand City Sports without Drew, without Zach. This is basically what we were doing years ago. You know, when we kind of hatched the idea. So we're happy to have built it up. Uh, but this is the foundation, folks. So happy to be here, guys. You have anything to say in conclusion? Indeed, you know, to the point. Go, go Celtics. Go P's, go B's, go C's. Go um, Sox. Go Sox, obviously. Obviously, I'm gonna throw I'm gonna throw a cheers up to Kobe Bryant. Uh, rest in peace. Thank to you him. for remembering. Yes, I rest in peace to him. It was uh, a terrible tragedy, but the outpour of love and support to him and from all all communities in all walks of life has been a. A refreshing sight to see it. It brought a lot of people together that never would have been brought together through anything else. So it, it's a nice thing to see. Agree, one thousand percent. Okay, that's it, folks. Thanks for tuning in. We're live at Pizza One Subs Two. We we will be back. Okay, thanks a lot. Happy to be here. Just in the Mars pain we feel. Yes, 
Sometimes we do hate ourselves, but each day we try to embrace ourselves. Yeah.